everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to a little impromptu unboxing video. We've just had a parcel arrive from the Royal Mint so I thought I'd unbox it here and show you what you get from the Royal Mint. This is the Seymour Panther Reverse Frosted 2 coin set and we're going to go in much more detail on Friday's video about the coin but I thought I'd do a kind of reveal style video showing the coin uh, in all of its glory as it comes out the box and hopefully it'll be okay. So this is how I kind of do my first obs observation quality test almost from the Royal Mint. So let's have a good look at it. Let's get the invoice out of the way first up. Uh, really good packaging from the Royal Mint. I want to start by saying that uh, the Royal Mint used to ages ago, four or five years ago, send their coins in jiffy bags and often they wouldn't even have um, you know, outer cardboard boxes on. So there were countless times when outer boxes were always damaged. So it's good to see that's changed. We've got a little bit of raw mint marketing material here. Make your investments precious and uh, a few other things. That's, uh, we'll maybe have a look at those another time. But for now, let's just have a look at the coin in question. So here inside the outer cardboard box, again, good to see it all protected because it does make a difference. We have the two coins set and it is indeed the Seymour Panther. Uh, two coin silver proof set and it's the reverse frosted now it's an interesting one the, the silver panther um, it's certainly split opinion in terms of what uh, it likes that's annoying I don't if I ran the Royal Mint I would make sure that my products you know even small things like this we'll have a look at the coins in a moment and I'll talk about this in a moment too but I'd make sure this ribbon was tight enough to hold the bloody material in because that's not tight enough. That's not high enough quality. Right, okay, let's talk about the rest of the quality. Another thing that I would say to the Royal Mint, if you watch this video, anybody from quality or from customer services, anybody, put the bloody coins in straight, will you? I mean, I know it's a bit semantic and a little bit like, nah, but when a customer opens a product, and I think you guys will agree as well, you've probably been looking at this when I've opened it up and seen the fact that the, you know, the things don't fit in, they fall over, that's not great, and then the coins all skew with. I don't like that, it's not premium. Anyway, if I ruled the Royal Mint, goodness me, there'd be some changes, let me tell you. Let's have a look at the coins then, and see if they're okay, because that's uh, that's the thing that really matters. So we have, of course, the this is the one that it, it, you know we've already seen, this is the silver proof that uh, is what it is, and then the reverse frosted proof. I do like that reverse frosted proof. I've said it so many times before that frosted coins with the majority of a coin frosted look so much better, and it's good to see the Royal Mint actually doing the coins like that. So let's first have a look at this, because I think this is a key coin within the uh, the Royal Tudor Beasts, uh, um, you know, sort of theme it's it's going to be great to see these reverse frosted proof coins so let's have a little bit of a zoom in and we can really see if the quality's up to scratch uh, pardon the pun uh, for those that are wondering there's a little mark there on the edge of the panther i believe that's actually the artist's signature not an imperfection before anybody asks and um, otherwise i'm seeing no major issues right now on this what I will do is after filming, I often will go back and review the footage um, in you know depth to see if I can see anything, but I can't see any major issues from first up with the naked eye, which is always a good thing. Often you, you will see things straight away, your eye will be drawn to it. So that's looking pretty good for me right now on that one. So let's have a look at the other one here. Uh, often you'll find with a with a coin like a shiny proof finish like this, they're a little bit more obvious. You can see here the signature now actually looks like a signature rather than a little scratch on there. That's looking pretty good as well. Not seeing any dings, dents, scratches. Milk spots don't seem to be on there. So that's looking good. And that's looking pretty good on that side too. So all things told, the coins seem to be in great condition. But, uh, oh, goodness me, Royal Mint, get it right when you open, when a customer opens a box, they don't want to see coins left, right, upside down. How is it quite? I think it was like this, wasn't it? Something like that. And, um, you know, just make sure that this little ribbon here is fastened properly. It has been on all the other releases that I've seen come out from the Royal Mint. But that experience, that customer experience, when you get something like this, that's pretty special, that's pretty cool, and you as a customer open it up and that happens, that's not good. And then when you open it and for the first time seeing it, the coins all skew with, it's a presentation and it's, it's an experience. You know, people are not buying these coins for the metal. 
They're buying them for the experience, for the exclusivity, for the enjoyment of the set. And it should look better when you first get that first experience. So there we have the unboxing. And uh, let me know your thoughts on the, I mean, look at that, it doesn't even stay up. How can you have that as a presentation unit? But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. And then we're gonna show the coin in more detail and we're gonna go over it in more detail on Friday's In Focus Friday video. So if you wanna see that, uh, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on this coin on the presentation and of course, any feedback that you've also got to give to the Royal Mint about how it's coming out of the box. I think there's so much to be learned from this from the Royal Mint. But anyway, that's it from me. Quick short one today. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.